All right, we're, here we we're, go. We're all on no jumper. Here we go. And I thought that we we're kind of cool. And he had the he had the title in the questions. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh wow. The most important thing here, because I thought we were like cool, not like boys or nothing, but I thought we were cool enough, whatever. And I was like, okay, you came in here, you know what your title gotta be for this podcast, you know what the clips gotta be for the podcast. And and I'm like, okay, now I understand who you are. Anything that serves you and continues to succeed within this business, this is gonna be a good thing, and we're gonna go and we're gonna push on it. I don't hate on it because I like knowing where people stand. I like knowing what people's intentions are. I operate a little different. You are on this podcast right now. If there's something from this pod, you're like, yo, I don't want out, I I'm cutting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cutting it. Adam's not cutting it. Cap. Pause it, please. Mm -hmm. Wait, actually, I want to keep listening because I didn't, I didn't watch stage. it this far. I will not allow a guy to fuck my wife. I make enough money. Right there. What you boring, said. very boring response. This guy needs to be fired with the black hat. <laughs> anyway, all right. So this is this is this is my thing about. And shout out to Alex. Actually, I didn't realize it was him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, yeah. But that is an incredibly boring response to what he just said. Yeah. Andrew's like fishing for some like good conversation there, and nobody's giving it to him. Anyway, mm -hmm. I just wanted to give my thoughts on this topic. So when Andrew shows, as far as I could tell, because I was googling for it earlier, there's one question that I asked him in the course of that whole interview that we ended up turning into a clip that went vel relatively viral. There's actually two, but the only one that stands out to me as something that he could be talking about is because he's friends with Brendan Schaub, as Ooh. am I. At the time that we did that last podcast, Gringo Poppy was still fresh in our memory. Mm. Many people will remember that Gringo Poppy by Brendan Schaub was <laughs> <What's that right? laughs> possibly one of the worst received comedy specials of all time and i'm not saying that because i dislike brendan i like brendan a lot but i tried to watch the the, the special yeah. i didn't make it very far into it you know i was probably like eight or nine minutes into it when i gave up i didn't think it was that great right. now i remember when i asked him when i asked andrew schultz on the podcast i asked him about gringo poppy and i remember his response was kind of like oh okay so you're doing clickbait and i remember kind of like you know checking myself in that moment because it was kind of weird in that moment to have him calling out what I was doing, which is I was going out of my way to ask him about a viral topic in the intent of getting a clip of him talking about it. Because let's be honest, almost anything talking about Gringo Poppy at the time was kind of viral. Now, Schultz didn't give me a spicy answer by any means. Mm -hmm. He just basically said, uh, you know, uh, I, I can't even remember what he said because it was so sort of generic and like intended to take the pressure off of himself so that he didn't have to actually make a statement against somebody that he fucks with. But I feel like Andrew's kind of like mischaracterizing it because out of the full like two plus hour long interview that we did, I think that that's the only question that I asked that was, you know, evidently being asked because there was a clip that I was clearly going to cut up out of it. Now, I think when you look at the stand-up comedy world versus the hip-hop world, I feel like a lot of people who watch hip-hop interviews are probably listening to what Andrew just said right there, and they're confused because in the hip-hop world, think about all the big interview platforms. You have somebody like Vlad who's literally built his entire business off being able to ask the really spicy questions and having no shame about asking <laughs> shit like that. You have somebody like academics who I have heard him many times admit to the fact that when he is doing an interview, he will gladly take the devil's advocate side in order to get the content out of you that he wants, meaning mm -hmm. that he will gladly mm -hmm. take on an opinion that is not really his in order to get you to defend your position mm -hmm. when you look at all the other platforms whether it's say cheese or a cam capone or whatever it's like i feel like this pretty it's pretty common stuff between all of them so i felt like andrew simplifying that entire podcast which if you go back and watch it is a really great one i remember it was a little bit of a source of conflict because we didn't invite trl on it but we had ad and duno on there so there's a lot of laughs a lot of a lot of good vibes and everything but i i f can't help but feel a little bit offended by him reducing an entire two and a half hour great interview down to the idea of like me trying to clickbait him especially when it's not exactly a question that's totally out of left field i mean you are a comedian you are friends with brendan schaub as am i so this is not like something i'm asking you about something that you don't have familiarity with you know and and i get it that he didn't really want to answer that question and he did a great job of you know sort of 
dancing around having to make any kind of like offensive statement or anything. Wow. I guess Andrew Schultz had the wrong impression of Adam 22. Andrew, I understand that you may be a stand comedian, but it doesn't mean that Adam 22 may be a stand up guy. Like, come on, Adam 22 is the same guy who let his wife banging out with a random guy on camera simply for the money. So when you look at Adam 22 and you see, is money the main motivator? Yes. So Andrew Schultz, I think you made the mistake that when you were in that interview with Adam 22, you thought it was just going to be talk it out. You thought it was just going to be, you know, shooting your shot, just speak for two hours as if you're friends. No, this is not the flagrant podcast. This is the no jumper. Why is Adam 22 trying to interview you? He's trying to get the clips in, the questions that everybody wants to get answered. So from Adam 22's standpoint, right, you're a big interviewee, Andrew Schultz. You're a big guest. Adam has to get everything he needs out of that interview. He can't just talk for two or three hours about nothing. He's got to hit current events, viral topics, things that people really want to know your inputs from. And I'll be honest, Andrew Schultz, yes, you may can, I don't know, on flagrant, just talk it about randomly, flagrantly for a couple of hours, and that's it. Because, right, you have your stand-up shows to make back that money. It's not just YouTube. You got stand-up comedy shows. You have your stand-up specials. What does No Jumper have? They pretty much live out of YouTube, right? Is that content they make on YouTube? Maybe on a Patreon, but they can't have like live shows every day. They might have live shows once in a while, but it's not like a comedian where they got, what, tour dates 1 to 100. No Jumper is only like once in a blue moon they might have a live show. So No Jumper is depending heavily on those interview clips, those interview videos, that video content you see on YouTube. So of course, Adam22 is going to do what he can to get out of the interview, not just do whatever he wants or do whatever you want for the two or three hours that both you and Adam 22 are there. So yes, I'm calling on Andrew Schultz for being completely ignorant. Just because you're cool with academics doesn't mean you may be cool with Adam 22. Yes, I know no jumper in academics. They may cover similar topics, but similar is not the same. Academics is a different person from Adam 22. You got to get that correct through your mind.